Please be seated. The City of Wheat Ridge honors the tradition of having a jury by your peers. A jury by your peers is a fundamental right of democracy, and we honor that tradition in the City of Wheat Ridge. We have a very dedicated and longstanding staff, a great judge that works for the community. We always want to provide the ability for any citizen to come forward and have a jury by their peers in the City of Wheat Ridge. Because we were an English colony at one time, we have borrowed some uh, Anglo-Saxon concepts of jurisprudence jury trials being one of them. And when the Founding Fathers drafted the Constitution, they put in one of the articles the right to a jury trial. You folks have been summonsed for jury service. What we're about to do is randomly choose 12 people. Those people that are chosen would come up and sit in the seats in the jury box. A juror must be a resident of the city of Wheat Ridge and the clerk's office has a list or a roll of jurors, and then they will send a letter for jury duty. We typically will summon 35 to 45 jurors for jury duty. The names are selected at random. We choose 12 names. Those 12 people take the jury box. All right, folks, the next thing we're going to do is the attorneys would like to learn a little bit about you, and the reason that they do that they have the opportunity later to strike, each attorney can strike three of you. Not every person can serve as a juror. An example of a person who cannot or should not serve as a juror in a case is someone who has a connection with the defendant or one of the attorneys, and that connection would cause them to be prejudiced or biased for or against that party. Some other reasons that they can be excluded is if they're a law enforcement person or if they are a member of a public defender's office. Also, if someone has formed an opinion about the case, one way or the other, for or against the defendant, for or against the prosecution, for whatever reason, those persons may not be qualified to be a juror in a criminal case. If this applies to you, then raise your hand and then I'll question you about that. So first of all, do any of you have a relationship within the third degree by blood, adoption, or marriage to the defendant or to either one of the attorneys? When we summons a juror, that's not a request to appear. That is a requirement that you do appear. You have a duty as a citizen to appear for jury duty. If you do not appear, the court issues what is called an order to show cause. You're provided a court date, and when you appear for that court date, then your obligation as a juror or a juror who did not appear is to explain why you missed court that day. Some people have legitimate reasons, that is, they did not receive the summons or they no longer live in Wheat Ridge. There are some other reasons why a juror may not be qualified to serve as a juror, but they must appear if they receive that order to show cause and then explain why they did not appear. If they have a bad reason or the judge does not believe them, uh, then the judge can impose a fine and the judge uh, can also impose jail. The reason we have court is we're a home rule city, city council has drafted ordinances, and the purpose of the city is to quickly and fairly adjudicate the cases that fall under the municipal ordinances. The Wheat Ridge Municipal Court is the court that handles all ordinance violations for the city of Wheat Ridge. A police officer or a code enforcement officer would file cases here. The purpose of the court from a public safety standpoint is ordinances defined the crimes. So it lets the public know what is allowed and what is not allowed. And if you do something that is not allowed, that is you commit a crime, you're going to receive a consequence for that. So hopefully that conduct does not occur a second time. So in that respect, it protects the public from criminal activity. You may have engaged in illegal sales and solicitation. Do you have any questions about the nature of that charge? No, sir. The large general division is criminal versus civil. Under civil cases, we handle abatements and some traffic cases are civil in nature. On the criminal side, we do have criminal traffic cases, and I would say by name of crime, it's assault, harassment, possession of marijuana, possession of drug paraphernalia, disorderly conduct, har harassment. 
Mrs. Wishon, what plea does your client enter, guilty or not guilty? Not guilty, Your Honor. A judge's job is dissimilar to a judge's job in TV and movies. In a real criminal court, the judge's job is only to make sure that the evidence presented to the jury is admissible evidence. The judge's second job is to decide what law applies to the case. The judge has no opinion. The judge's job has nothing to do with the facts of the case. That is the jury's job. The jury gets to decide what testimony to believe. They can believe some testimony. They can believe all of the testimony of a witness, or they can believe none of the testimony of a witness. The judge's purview is the law. The jury's purview is the facts. Some cases do not carry the right to a jury. But then we have another category where jail is a possibility for those crimes. The defendant can make a request for a jury and then they would get a jury. What the jury does is decide the facts of the case. What the judge does is to determine what law applies to that case. So they're crucial in that they determine what witnesses to believe, what evidence to accept, and ultimately they reach a verdict of guilty or not guilty. City's first witness, please. Do you solve